What's up, everyone? It's Trace Face. How's it going? Hope you're all having a great evening. Or wherever you're from, from wherever around the world you are, morning, evening, whatever time it is for you, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, this subject has been coming around to me quite often lately. It's been the uh, very hot topic of conversation, and I want to talk about it today. Um, and that is cheating. And uh, I, I want to say that uh, some people cheat for, for r different reasons. But when we're talking about a narcissist cheating and uh, a, one of the, the best ways to really truly identify a, a true malignant narcissist is, is to be able to uh, discover that they're a cheater. And I'm going to talk about what it is that they're doing when they cheat and how it feels for them. Uh, Okay, so that you guys can really understand what is going on for these these type of individuals that, that can go around doing this. Now, you know, some of us when we were younger, um, we might have done some things in our early 20s that we're not too proud of. Uh, and I think for many of us that actually have a heart and are empaths, realize that, oh, hey, I don't like doing things that make me feel like a POS. Um, doesn't really do much for me. I don't like acting that way. Do unto others uh, doesn't really feel good to, you know. And, and in my situation, um, I cheated back. The person was cheating on me, and I and I got revenge, and uh, and I got him back. But uh, it didn't make me feel good. Okay, it 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 actually made me the most depressed I've ever been in my life um, to to do that uh, because I knew it was wrong, and I knew that. Uh, it's not, it was not my character. It didn't feel right for me. So that's, um, I'm sure a lot of you can identify with what I'm saying. Now, when it comes to a narcissist and they're cheating, you have to understand that for these malignant type, these uh, uh, very diabolical type of narcissists that I, that I, I talk about on my channel, uh, they're actually getting off on getting away with something all right and cheating is a major conquest to 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 do uh to get away with uh they don't have any sort of uh care in the world or sympathy or empathy for their partners and so when they're going off and they're they're um you know opening their legs to somebody else uh and getting away with it that's what they're getting off on is the act of getting away with it and a lot of these type they're they're going to cheat on you emotionally they're going to cheat on you physically they're going to cheat on you uh psychologically because they're, they're going to be triangulating you with other people they're going to be cheating because they're going to be continuously looking up pornography and and trying to find the best scenes and best looking uh people to watch have sex and and all the stuff that they do right and, uh, but the big rush for these, these evil type, the big rush is getting away with things, is getting one over on you, is, um, uh, is knowing that you don't know about the act that actually makes them go to sleep at night with a, with a little smirk on their face on the pillow. Yeah. Look what I got away with. And for, for many people that are, do, that are, many of these robots that are going around doing this stuff, it becomes such a pattern for them in their life. They've been doing this since they could, all right, that they're now getting older in age and it doesn't matter how long that they've been with their partner for, uh, they love that kind of pattern and they typically are always going to end up doing it. They're always going to end up trying to get somebody else in the mix. They're always going to end up, you know, doing the triangulation thing, having the love triangles, uh, sleep, sleeping with somebody else, getting somebody else involved with their BS because that's all they know. It's a pattern that they, that they quite frankly don't want to quit. The narcissist cannot cannot uh, not have somebody else in the wings waiting for them. That is how they live and breathe and operate. This is how they get up every day. 
and go to work. It's knowing that somebody's in the wings, drooling over them, flirting with them online, hot for them, thirsty, for, you know, thirsty for them. They love thirsty people. Makes them that that is their air to breathe. So they're always going to be looking for the, those kind of people on the sidelines because their biggest fear in life is to be alone. And having all these other people on the side while they come home to like their, their mother figure or their father figure, if it's the female narc, um, which is what you, you, know, you become. You become just the doormat, the accessory uh, to them. That's, that's your, you're an extension of them. You're the slave. Um, but while they're going off and, and getting other people in, interested in them, uh, this, is, this is so they never, ever have to look within. This is the whole reason that they do this. So they never have to have a moment that they have to, that they can actually look within them and say, my God, I'm a sick individual. I need to stop this. I need some help. I'm a pig. I'm a little rat. I'm a little, you know, sneak. I should, I should stop doing this because this is really freaking hurtful to the person I'm supposed to be with. No, they don't have those moments. Listen, the minute that they went and opened their legs to somebody else or, or flirted with somebody else online and, and, and deleted messages with people online and all that, they're thinking to themselves, well, it's justified because my partners are this, that, and the other thing. That's what they're always blaming other people, guys, for their really, really horrific behavior. It's always somebody that made me do it. So please do not, do not ever take it personally when you've discovered, number one, you're with the narcissist and number two, they're cheating. Yes, this is what they do. They've been doing it their whole lives. When the going gets tough, the narc the narc gets narkin. <laughs> and that's the truth. When the going gets tough, the narc goes narkin. Right? Uh, I, I wanted to make sure that I thanked from the bottom of my heart this morning. Um, I woke up to a very large donation. Um, uh, Nancy, thank you so much. You did not have to do that. Uh, I was crying. I was in tears reading your message this morning and, uh, and it's so encouraging and it's so, it's, you have no idea how, how happy that made me and Jacqueline and Tony and Christine, I believe. Thank you so much for your donations to my channel today. Um, thank you very much. Everything, like I said, everything that you, you send my way truly helps me more than you guys know to keep to keep um, current with this and to keep going with this. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I, I thanked you from the bottom of my heart. Um, if you are interested in making a donation, my I'll leave all the information, on, um, the drop down to, to my PayPal account. If you're interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me, that that is down there to my email address. So please email me because I'd like to get you the help that you deserve. Uh, again, guys, my message to you today is to separate yourself from such an evil person that would do something like this to you to begin with. Separate yourself. You don't want to be a part of this. Uh, it always gets worse. Uh, the, the saying, once a cheater, always a cheater. Well, with narcissists, yes. That is the very truth. They will never stop. They do not know how to. They do not want to. And like I said, they enjoy getting away with it. So that's my message to you guys tonight. I will talk to you all very soon. I am Trace Face, and it is time. We all face the truth together.